Hey guys, double photography here. So today I'll be showing you how to get this golden brown tone, this golden brown color grade on your images. So this is the before. Before we go on, this is the before. This is what the image looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. So let's jump into it. So now what I'm going to do next is now start toning the picture. Um, you know the way I did it that gave the golden brown um, skin tone so the first thing I do when I want to um, tone a picture to a golden brown coloration is to you know go to gradient map you know you go to click on your adjustment layer I mean click on your um, adjustment and then go to gradient map in the gradient map you go to basics you um you, and then you click on this black and white gradient that's what I'm, i've picked already so you, you click ok and then you change you change the um blending mode to multiply you can see and you can see um the image is a little bit more contrasting and all what you what next you do is reduce the opacity then it reduce the opacity and i think an opacity of um 12 will be okay now let's check the before and the after before and after basically what this is doing now is just you know giving the image a little bit of contrast is making the image a little bit more contrasted so the next thing i will do is to go to my selective color go to my selective color you know click on the red on the red color of the selective color and then the cyan I want to bring it down a little to somewhere around um, minus 25 you understand so you can see the before and the after the before and the after basically I do this for almost all my habits you know bringing the cyan back to the negative um, um, side of the of the slider you know this kind of you know add a little bit of pop of red to the skin you can see the before and the after you can see the skin is a little bit more real uh, more real to life you know the, the skin tone and the red colors on the skin are like popping then the next thing i i, I did was you know reduce the, the black to like minus five or six minus six as you can see that will just you know make the skin a little bit more uh, a little bit less black or less dark you understand so if i should go to the other side you know on on the blacks it, what it does it increases the contrast you know if i should go by it increases the contrast and everything and if i should go to this other side you know it's reducing the contrast so i don't need much of that all i just need is just take it back a little to somewhere around um minus six i think this is good so this is the before and this is the after then the next thing i uh, i would do is go to the yellows the yellows and another thing I, I, I would like you to know is that um, the reds and the yellows on the selective colors controls the skin tone the skin tone of any human is under this um, red and this yellow um, um, you know um, section of, 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 of the color of the color of the selective color so if you want to if you want to tone the skin to anything you basically will get it done under these two sliders and um, maybe maybe a little bit under neutral but i won't i won't recommend that the red and yellow is just good enough so i will come to the yellows and then you know move the slider around and, and see i think i want to go down to like a little bit of um, um minus seven minus seven in the yellows is okay in the cyan then the blacks i will want to reduce it to like minus six to just to make um the picture you know a little bit um brighter so this is a before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after and as you can see we are um, the, the, the skin tone is um way nicer than it's than it was before so another thing i will do to, to do to this image is to um you know add a little bit of fade fade um grade into it so what, how, how, how am i going to do that i'll do that by you know coming to the choosing the curve adjustment layer you know making an anchor point in the middle making one in the highlight and then one in the shadows you understand so for me to fade to to add this fade effect 
all I need to do is just raise up the shadows a by a tad bit raise up the shadow by a little and I think that is okay so you can see the before and the after the before and the after so basically what this does to the image is work basically on the darkest on the darkest um you know side the the the, 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 the blacks of the of, of the image it raises the blacks of the image it doesn't make them too black and it just give this nice fade look i i love i love this look i love this look and i had it to a lot of my pictures so you can see the before the before before the fade the blacks here are very black which is also good if that's what you're looking for but in this particular image i think just a little bit of fade we do a whole lot of good and i think i love the, I love the look i'm getting um you know with the fade so the next thing i'll do is you know go to color balance go to color balance and on the column balance we have the tones the tones which are like divided into the shadows mid-tone and highlights you understand so um i wouldn't want to do much on the highlights because you know um and all the mid-tones but the shadows in most cases the the the, the face of the subject especially these areas these areas are usually um, affected by um, uh, um, the shadows so what i would do with the shadows is nothing much nothing drastic i would just you know add a little bit of red and um, a little bit of blue to just make it a little bit more um, um, less cyanic and uh, if that's a word and you know remove a little bit of yellow from the skin so you can see the before and the after the before and the after i i don't know if you can see it if you can see what i'm seeing here but this very very little and subtle adjustment is actually making a lot of changes to the image so you can see the this is the before and this is the after i also think i also think the image is a little bit too warm i think um we can cool it down a little one of the ways i go about cooling my image in photoshop you know instead of taking it back to the adobe camera raw is just by going to um the um photo filters choosing the um the, one of the cooling filters but in this case i'll go for the um cooling filter lbb and as you can see it's a little bit too much so in this case i will reduce um the density or i will leave the density as minor as 25 percent but i will reduce the opacity of the cooling filter down 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 or let me reduce it to zero and then just increase it till i see where i want so i think yeah this is just good a tad bit of um you know cooling to 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 the images is is, is good enough so that's basically it uh, this is all the adjustments we've done now let's let's put everything in a group and see the before and after of what we have done let me see golden brown let me name it golden brown tone so this is the before and this is the after of the tone this is the before and this is the after of the tone and as you can see um the image has really, really changed the fade that we did is actually coming out and everything is looking really, really i think i really, really love the tone okay. so let's check let's go back to the beginning and see where we're coming from this is the before and this is the after the before the after the before the after so i think this is good enough and um and yeah this is basically all you need to do but as a bonus point if you want your image to be more contrasted if you want more golden brown effect on your image all you need to do is come down here to the gradient map basically all this is being affected by the gradient map and all you need to do you know the opacity i use here is just 12 percent so in if you increase the opacity of this of this gradient map you can see um the image is you know more you know there's way more golden brownie um effects on on the image which is you know what you might you might be into this kind of tone but i personally i do not want um the golden brown effects to be this much so that was why i i you know chose something of this um of this level but you may want something of this in fact you may want more you know it all depends on the mood and you know what you want to get from the from the color grid so this is basically it um let me know if you want me to go deep into how i make um my um, frequency separation how i 
edit my skin tone and some other basic editing um, um, tutorials and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel i have more way more retouching um tutorials coming in very soon um like this video so others can see and learn from it and subscribe to this channel see you the next time thank you very much